If you are given this coding question during the interview, it's time to walk out. So given a value n, return true if n is the power of 4. Let's say n is equal to 16, 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16, so we can return true. Let's first go over the brute force approach. We can continuously divide n by 4 until we reach a value of 1. If we can't reach a value of 1, it is not a power of 4. Now let's look for a more optimized approach. If we convert the powers of 4 to its binary form, there's only one set bit and the set bit is located in odd positions. Let's break this question down into two parts. We will first need a way to check if there's only one set bit. What we can do is to remove the set bit and check if the result is equal to 0. Now in order to remove the rightmost set bits, we can use the formula n bitwise n and minus 1. So let's say we have 4 and 3, if we perform a bitwise n, the rightmost set bits is removed. Now the second part is checking if the set bit is located at an R position. What we can do is to perform a bitwise n with a binary string that has ones in even positions. If the result is equal to 0, then we know the set bit is located at an R position. In order to represent this binary string, we can use the hexadecimal value of A. And lastly, since there are 32 bits in an integer, we can represent it with 8 8s. Let's implement the function as power of 4, taking the input value n. If n is less than or equal to 0, return false. Return true, there's only one set bit and an R position. 